A new era of human spaceflight began when American astronauts once again launched on an American rocket from American soil to the International Space Station as part of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration's commercial crew program. NASA astronauts Douglas Hurley and Robert Benkin flew on SpaceX's Crew Dragon spacecraft, lifting off on a Falcon 9 rocket from Launch Complex 39A in Florida for a stay at the International Space Station for the Demo-2 mission. About 18 months before the SpaceX Crew Dragon launch, the Air Force Research Laboratory hosted astronauts Benkin and Hurley at testing facilities in its 7-11th Human Performance Wing, located at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Dayton, Ohio. Robert Benkin is an alumni of an AFRL predecessor lab. Along with eight other astronauts, Benkin and Hurley underwent two days of testing in the Defense Department's only human-rated centrifuge, capable of producing 20 times the force of gravity, or Gs, and accelerating up to 15 Gs in one second. A team of AFRL NASA engineers transformed the centrifuge, more commonly used for fast jet pilot training, into a system for astronaut testing. New space vehicles are very different from the space shuttles. The space shuttle had a very gentle G profile, both upward but especially downward. New commercial space vehicles recall the Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo era where astronauts experienced much higher G-forces in both ascent and entry. For astronauts, the G-forces are felt mostly in the chest in the X-axis. Through this force, they have to still be able to reach forward and accomplish certain tasks on their control panels. These tasks were part of the testing that Hurley and Benkin had to accomplish as the centrifuge spun. Their work in the centrifuge was a pathfinder effort to start spinning people with G-loads of the new vehicles. The Department of the Air Force's historical relationship with NASA from the days of John Glenn will now work to deliver our next generation of astronauts to the International Space Station. Mm -hmm.